Say good morning, Papa. Look, you gotta say good morning. Good morning. It's just gonna be me and Bo today. He's trying to say good morning. Good morning. He was waving. Good morning. See, Sarah, he can do tricks. He can say good morning and wave. <laughs> hey, Heather, and anyone else that may be coming in. I hope you'll be patient with me today and that we'll have a great Tuesday together. Okay, Bobo, you go get on your bed. You've had your moment. Oh, I do have Christy coming in to help me. Yay. Thank you, Christy. Let me put her up here. Thank you so much, Christy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning to you. You're welcome. Morning. And you come and go as you need to. It's no biggie. I appreciate any help I can get in any kind of way. And while we wait for somebody to get here, I hope you're doing well. I had a rough weekend, but I'm better. I'm I was to go with you. I'm, I'm much, much better, yes. So I feel fine today, a little bit still sinusy nasally, but nothing like I was. I'm, I'm, I'm ended up. <laughs> I hadn't heard from you that much. So I was wondering how you were. I was in my bed all weekend long. I was sick under the covers, but I, like I, I went to the doctor on Friday and they gave me medicine. Thankfully I had that and I, that was mending me up. So. A lot of chicken broth and you know that kind of stuff so yeah but i feel good today so lucid had an appointment today she couldn't miss so she's out and about with that so it, i probably only go about an hour you know i don't like to be on here by myself and i get to stumbling and mumbling but maybe somebody show up in a minute and we'll start the sale anything you have to say christy yeah. Not too much. It's just morning. It's usually pretty busy for me. <laughs> yeah. How is dad? He's good. Good, 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 good. That's awesome. Well, so it shows that there is someone here. Y'all say good morning. Let me know you're here and I'll start. Okay, I'm going to plug myself in real quick. Okay, take your time. Like I said, I'm going to give it a minute. It's not really showing anybody here yet. Hey, Heather, me. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I hope you're mending up a little bit too, Heather. Heather and Hannah both been so sick. I know Hannah's not a whole lot better, but and I believe Heather may have a little pleurisy or something going on. So still pray for them. They'll heal and they're getting ready for their big trip for the whole month of July coming up. They'll be on to the Minnesota up there. So that's way far away from Mississippi. One end of the world to the other. It might, it might as well be a million miles. That's the way it feels while they're gone. <sighs> And let Christy get ready here too, and we'll get ready. And I'll be mushing up enough nerve to go, hoping somebody I'll, else comes in this morning. I'll be right back. Let me go. Oh, ahead that's fine. Right. Take your time. Take your time. I don't see anybody but Heather here so far. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, hold on. Let me open my door. I never mind. Get my lock. She saw had a doctor's appointment. I knew I was going on by myself this morning. That's how they're coming in to do a little working on the reefs that we're going to be selling for the fundraiser. They're all here behind me. If y'all and they're two sided the uh, mason jars. If y'all see one of the mason jars y'all like, I'll show them here in a little bit. Um, and you, she can do any size, the small or the big or. Maybe something in between if you prefer it, but but anything, your theme, your ball game, fall, y'all, whatever it is you want on it, she can put on them. You just have to give me a idea. You know, we'll work with you at that point. Patty Paws, hey, 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 hey. Well, I'm giving Christy a minute to get all plugged in and ready to go. And Amanda Gale, hey, hey, hey. She's going to kill me for calling her Amanda Gale. But I'll, I've done it for 30 years. So 
not likely to change. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all some little uh, coin purses. I know these things are very popular right now to hang on your little bags or, or whatever. Um, I have four different colors. I have a, then they all got glitter, sparkle. I, my favorite color is glitter. Amanda says that a lot, and I've kind of picked that up. And you can have your choice, $2, pink, blue, silver, white. If you want all four of them, $2 each. Did you get your, oh, yes, I did, Patty. Thank you so much for doing that. And I'm going to tell you, it is so easy to make a mistake in this field game, whatever it is we're doing. And good morning, Aunt Marion. Um, <clears throat> and all you, you know, I know all she done was mix up the uh, stickers. I've done it myself. It is it's a little embarrassing to me to do it, but it's easy, easy. And I try not to, and I still will do it. Mixing up. Or getting something broke, or you know, sending not sending something right. It's just it's embarrassing. We're trying our hardest. We're doing the best we can, and we are human. We we do take a lot of pride in getting things right, but it does happen. And I thank you, Patty, for doing that for us and getting it to the right floor. Me, <laughs> thank you so much. And you did get yours, I hope. These are two dollars each. Little coin purses, little zipper coin purses with glitter. Little glitter. Tiny. I mean, you could put a pretty good little bit of change in here or, you know, a little small, I don't know, lipstick. If Do they still make them little? I'm, I'm going way back when they used to make the little Avon lipsticks. I don't know if they make them that little anymore, but coin purses or whatever, just, just decorative purses. Two dollars each, your choice, pink, blue, yeah. silver, white, glitter Perfect bags. Go on your key ring, you know. Right, right. And keep you up, you know, back in the day we had to have, you know, a quarter for a phone call. I know you don't have to have that now, but, you know, for your water well, or whatever you want. Now <laughs> it's like, uh, you could say bus fare. I mean, you know, stuff yeah. like that, yeah. things that you need for transit, stuff like that. I know there's not right. pay phones around because everybody's got cell phones, but yeah. Okay, so we'll move on. Heather's fixing up one of the little reefs that I'll, we'll show you that in a minute. Um, I've got this little $2 for this little um, wooden sign. It says old quilts for a dollar. It's just a little shelf setter. You have a little country cottage core look. It's $2. Okay. And then yesterday I had a big, huge cleaning up of some boxes and I found some more doggies. That's pretty Heather. And so I have another little doggy for $3. I'll show that next to them. That's beautiful. It does say something on the bottom. Let's see what it says. Edith King, California. I don't know. Maybe that's just who made it, I guess. It's a little ceramic dog, and you could, you know, it's got a sweet little face, but you could always add paint to it or repaint it a different color if you didn't like it. But I think it's kind of cute, this little blonde color. $3. Oh, good morning, Sue. I'm sorry, Christy, what? I said it looks like a little cocker spaniel with the ears. Oh, yeah, it's got them little floppy ears. I'm going to turn this up just a hair so I can hear you. I had it kind of down. If you get to hearing an echo or something, I'll turn it back down. Tell me. Oh, you're kind okay. Of then I found a bigger one. It's quite a bit bigger. Let's see how big it is. Oh, it's about 10 inches long. And it's a kind of a more of a creamier color. And since it's bigger, I'm going to ask five for it. You can see that it's quite a bit bigger. This one's laying down and it's still quite a bit bigger. Yeah. I think that's yeah, a Parker just... Spaniel too. Is it? Oh. Okay. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Be careful. Have a good day. She can brought the uh she put a bow on my reef. She couldn't stand my reef not to have a bow. So I'm gonna show oh. it. These Mason um are door hanger, which are two-sided. So you're getting two door hangers in one. This small size is 15. 
and it's a cutout um, wood. It's real wood. It's got, and then we'll put whatever you want us to put on it. If you want us to put your name or whatever you want us to put on them. I got the, oh, I'm going to turn in the wrong way. We've got a bigger one over here. It's quite a bit bigger. I'll stick this in the middle and show you how much bigger it is. Show you that first. She's got welcome, y'all, because I love that. And then she's got my parents' initial. This is for my parents' anniversary thing she made. But you can put bows. You don't have to put bows. You can put a flower. She can paint something on it. Her, her little daughter is very good at painting. Anna. And he says, says $15 for a sign. I'm sorry. How much for the sign? Oh, 15 for the small, 20 for the big. Okay. Sorry, let me turn my air off. That might help too for me. I usually do that during the sale. I'm sorry. Y'all get to hear that? Tell me, turn that noise off. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're lurking while you're working, Miss <laughs> Sue. Thank you. And Lucy had an appointment today, so y'all got to just put up with me for a little while. I'm going to show some things, and as long as y'all can stand it, I'll be showing some, a few little things here. And I'll go ahead and show you the other wreath. Now, this one in detail is a lot more. It's a wire reef door hanger. And the way it can be two reefs is that she can put on the middle part, she can put two sayings on the middle part, but it was still this part wouldn't change. But she can put anything, your favorite team. She can put Halloween. These are 30. The wire reefs are 30, Christy. I'm sorry. And because they're quite a bit larger, you're going to have a lot more detail. A lot, she puts a lot of ribbon. A lot of people just puts a little loose ribbon. She puts, instead of using two schemes, she used six schemes of ribbon. So it's a very tight, very beautiful. It's, and these things right here will last. I've got some I've had for years and years and years. And you, you can do Christmas, Christmas, excuse me, Christmas, Halloween, your favorite team. And what you do is you pre-order them with me. She makes them pretty fast, but she is going to be gone the month of July to the hospital with her child. And this is a fundraiser we're doing right now. But you, you have about five more days if you want it before the first part of August when she gets back. Then she can start back making them. But again, that, that one's 30. And then we have the, oh, I have one more kind. Oh, this is a lighter weight. This one's $10. And it's just a lighter weight plastic. It's not wood. It's plastic. With the, you can have your favorite color ribbon, your favorite flower. You know, as long as you just let me know what that is. And these are 10. And I just love this. You can do it sideways like this. This can go in a room, like in your in your um, daughter's room or son's or whoever you want it in. Or it can go on a door, inside or out. And again, it's 10. And all these reefs are for a fundraiser for Hannah's medical expenses. So everything's going for a good cause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. We'll get on back with the hard goods. I have a, I was digging through and I found quite a bit of different things I hadn't shown yet. So here's a little milk glass mug, $3. Let's see what it says on the bottom. I hadn't even really looked at it. I just got it out of there. It says Galaxy. I was thinking it was like fire. Made in USA. Oven proof. I know it's vintage, but I, I don't know what Galaxy. That's a new one to me. It does have that more D-shaped handle that the vintage handles had. Good morning, Dolores. And good morning, good morning. Coming in, I mean... Yeah, she's got some, besides the hard goods and stuff like that, she's got some things that she is um, having custom made by Hannah's mother, her daughter, and mason jar signs and uh, wreaths, all custom made. You can have whatever you want. It can be for seasons. It can be for holidays. It can be for different things. Um, it's custom made for you. And she Thank has you so much, Chris. That's so sweet. And I'll show them again a little bit later on in the show. I just bringing them out because Heather was here adding a bow to mine. Okay, I have a $3 little 
barbecue apron. My son-in-law ended up with about three for Father's Day. So he told me, go ahead and donate this one to be sold. <laughs> so I got it for $3 new in the box. He never opened it. He said, there wasn't no way he needed that many aprons. So a little barbecue. Still time for barbecues. Fourth of July is coming up what, next week. I can't believe it. Wow. So if you need an apron in your life, there you go. It's one for $3. About 1970 something, we all had to have a leather purse, real leather. Now it had to be real leather, tooled. It had to have some kind of tooling on it. This is a wallet. My mother carried this wallet for years and years and years. And if I didn't have so many other ones of hers, I would have had to kept it. I have seven dollars on it. That leaves a lot of room for resale if you want to. It does have the the velvety crushed velvet. I guess that's what. I guess that's what it's called. That's the feel I think I'm thinking of the picture thing. The um, let me see what all it has in it. Like, oh, it does have a place for a checkbook? I was thinking I remembered it had a place. You know, back then they all had a checkbook and a little pen and stuff in it. It's very pretty. It all works good. It's in really good shape for not. I know it's 1970. Every bit of it. We went, we went and got special. I still have a leather purse. From them, but see the tooling, how pretty the 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 design is. It does, she used this a lot. That just tells you what, how good of uh, quality quality ugh, words is because it is still in very good shape. Seven dollars on it. Oh, Definitely Amanda, you want the wallet? <laughs> oh, you gotta you gotta say eight. You gotta be at the part. Dolores is in at seven. Okay. Everything's offer up. If, some, if, it, if you know, somebody's want, more than one person's wanting it, then we bid for it. What? I had no idea you would have wanted your granny's wallet from the 70s. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't know if she heard. Amanda, got a bid. Oh, she said. Yep, she's going. She's bidding. She's with going. Okay, she understands. Let me grab my puppy a snack while y'all bidding on that real quick. It's right here. He's demanding a snack. There's you some snacks. Damn, I forgot I didn't get him in any this morning. I was. Kind of running around like a chicken with my head cut off mostly. Oh, you are bidding. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. Let me keep showing the wallet. Another person I haven't talked to in like, it seems like forever. I know yesterday was the first time I talked to him in a while. I told him, hello, stranger than me. <laughs> I think everybody's been busy. I know I was sick. Amanda, what's your bid? You're going to have to come in with a power bid. <laughs> All right, Dolores, I'm, I'm just teasing. I'll show it for a few minutes. That'll slow me down. Y'all, I get nervous and I just get to go with 90 miles an hour. Amanda's out. Are you sure, Amanda? <laughs> we have several more. That's one reason I put this one in here. You remember Granny carrying this, Amanda? I'm telling you, my mom carried it till from the 70s till not too long ago, probably. Okay, looks like we're selling it to the Lords. Yep. I remember my mom had a leather purse that reminds me of that. It was like a long, long time ago in the 80s, I remember. It was like a, a saddlebag style, and it was leather like that. It was pretty. 
Last call. I thank y'all so much. There's some books next here. All right, so to Dolores for 11. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. Thank you so much. I have such a lag over here. Okay, next, I have an art book, something I know nothing about. New art in an old city. And I'm going to sell it for $2. Oh, Amanda, it's okay. New art in an old city. And it has all kind of art. You could, if you wanted to, you could cut it out and frame it, I guess. Or if you was an art person that loved art, you'd have a coffee table book full of art. It's a pretty good size. It's heavy. I know that. Oh, Two dollars on it. Let me see if I see anything amazing. I don't know. I'm, I'm so the opposite of art. I know nothing about it. Oh. Do know there is some people in here I won't show. Hopefully, I ain't done showed them. I don't think I you artistic <laughs> people, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yes, I do. And next, Tiger Woods. That's a golf player, right? I've heard his name. That's as much as I know. This is a big coffee table book. I'll do it for two dollars. It's a it's a pretty heavy. If you like golf or Tiger Woods or know anything about him or want to know anything about him, if you want to sell it, <laughs> that leaves room for selling it. It's in good condition. How I play golf, it says. So it goes him. I don't know anything about him except for I got a book donated. Let's look what the cover looks like in case you want it for decor. Oh, it's a beautiful green with a white. It's a pretty book. If you love the green, want to do decor with it. That was $2. We got it right. Okay. All right. Moving right along. Let's do something else. Let's do the uh, rooster crop. $2. It's in good shape. Okay. That is perfect if you have like chickens and stuff like that in your mm -hmm. kitchen. Cottage core, dabby chic. Yeah, they do a lot of, I have really seen that a lot of people love roosters. Let's sneak a little Christmas in July early since this was on the table from finding that. I have, it's an ornament. It's a wooden ornament with a red truck. I have $5 on it. The red truck stuff is very popular. And I have one more Christmas thing here. The La Avon candle. I have five on it too. And that is the pretty little emerald green glass. And then the little faux flame here so i don't know if it still smells or not oh yes indeed that smells it does not have the tag on it i can't really place the it's the older grandma smell i can tell you that much <laughs> how much was your ornament five dollars either, either thing is five Whew, now i got that up my nose i might not have already done that <laughs> Then I have this pretty ceramic pitcher. And you could put lemonade in it or you could water your plants with it or however you want to do. And I got $8 on it. It doesn't have a name brand. That's like somebody wrote some numbers that didn't mean nothing on the bottom of it. I'm sure they can be washed right off. It's got a beautiful handle. Let me tell you how tall it is. Dolores wants the Avon for five. Okay. This is seven inches tall. All right. Let me write her down. I love my Avon bottles too. I have quite a collection. I need to 
maybe put some more of them in here. <laughs> okay. And you said it was seven inches tall for the picture? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. the picture's seven. And that, next to have the little piggies for three dollars. The little farm scene piggies. Probably playing in the mud. Although they got grass around them, it does look like they got some mud. Look at their little faces. I have them for three dollars. Their little faces. And they got all the little wrinkles on their necks, and, you know, and all that. They look very realistic in the little squiggly tails, curved, curled. That's cute. Three dollars. They have some earrings for three dollars. Chrissy, tell me to slow down if I need to. Oh, she said be right back. That's fine. That's fine. These have just some little faux like crystals. Reminds me of like a chandelier look. And they have the little fish hook. Like I told y'all yesterday, I don't even have pierced ears, so no, I don't know what I'm talking about. They're just pretty. I like pretty. Did I have another set here? And I thought they were mighty pretty also. Three dollars on the earrings. I don't know. They must have kind of got tangled up or something. Yeah, they got tangled up a little bit. Oh, let's see if I can show them to you. Well, I don't know what they done. There we go, maybe. Yeah, that's better. Three dollars on either one of the. You can say little blue. These have little blue little stones on them. Little beads, not stones, beads. I mean, the little crystal ones. Three dollars a pair for the earrings. Bo, it's not time for your um, debut again. Go get your snack and eat it. Falling on my leg there. Then I have this very pretty for four dollars. It's a candle holder. It kind of looks like a glass, like a champagne glass or something, but it's a candle holder. It's a very, very thin glass. And it's got that very light emerald green look to it. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not. It is. I have four dollars on it, and it has a little ridged uh, ribbed little um handle. Again, it's very, very thin, beautiful glass candle holder. Has some little decor, like little glass flower looks. It almost looks like blown glass. It's not, but it, it looks like it has that look about it. Four dollars for it. You could do whatever you wanted to in it. I'm calling it a candle holder, but you could, you know, do what you wanted to with it. Bones in it or whatever. Let me get this little side. I had the little uh, trivet tray, mind your own biscuits, for two dollars. Has a cork back. You could either have it for a shelf setter, or you could put something hot on it. I, it's a tile. That's what it's meant for—the little trivet. I guess you could put your biscuits on it if you wanted to. Oh my god! Have it for two dollars. Uh, mind your own biscuits. I have yes. been known to say that before. <laughs> it's a little country saying. Two dollars on the trivet. Okay, I just keep going back and forth side to side. Then I have the 1975 wall hanging plastic fruits and vegetables, mushrooms that was on every wall in 1960s and 70s. 70s a lot. We had these on the wall. I remember them well. I have eight dollars on the set for so both pieces. If you just want one piece, you know, if you prefer just to have the ones with the mushrooms, or whatever, you can have it for four. They're very, they're still very vibrant and they are a home co. I'm pretty positive it says that on here. Let me make sure. Oh, yeah, it says it right there at the bottom of this one. They do have the little alligator hooks on them. And that's $8. Oh, 
So there's your snack, baby. And I don't want it. You eat it and be sweet now. I have this little Cherish Teddies for $3. They're playing in the snow. Wouldn't we like some snow right now as hot as it is here? This is like a real rope feel, the decor on it. It's a ceramic, like I said, Cherish Teddies. Um, it's numbered and it says 1997. I know that they had a lot of little decorations out, the little cherished teddies. Let me show you the back of it. The little scarfs blowing in the wind. That's sweet. Both of them are. Today it's snowing in the wind. $3 on that one. That's fine, Christy. It's no problem. Then for $3, I have the Willow Tree Lady. I <laughs> know summer forever. You want summer forever, Amanda? I know it's been mighty hot, but I don't know. I'm okay with cool weather, but not snow. We don't get snow anyway here. $3, Willow Tree Little Lady. She does have a little hole right here, but I did watch um, one of the YouTube sellers, George, last night. And he said sometimes that was the way they made them, you know, the, the pottery or the clay or whatever. They had to have a little hole in them. And that's as much knowledge as I know. If y'all don't watch George, um, he y'all need to go to his channel, which escapes me the whole name of it right now. I'll have to put it down there. But as I mentioned it, I'll have to put it in the description if I can remember. He's very, very intelligent. He knows a lot of stuff. Him and Scott, very intelligent people. Okay, next I have the little sterling silver candlestick holders. Amanda, unless you think we need this for the anniversary party, I'm going to sell them today. So let me know real quick. <laughs> or I'm going to offer them up anyway. $10. They have some very pretty decor on them. The stream yards tricks me every time in which direction to go in. Very pretty. They're, they they do have a pretty good bit of weight to them, too. We're going to give my parents, if the Lord says the same, next, well, August, which is about to be next month, their 60th wedding anniversary party. I'm so blessed, y'all. Y'all pray for health and, and well-being for everybody to, to have a great day on that day. Because that is a blessing. Okay, next I have this vintage. Do they have roses? Okay, let's go back to that. I'm not sure that particularly is roses, but it's a flower. Maybe if I can get it up. Can you see it? It's more like a flower with a little center. I don't know my flowers. Don't really think that it is a rose. They are very, very, very pretty though. And they will shine up. Okay, back to the vintage. It's a uh, ceramic butter dish. And I looked and looked last night and I do believe that this is like cotton. Little cotton blooms. I'm going to ask $5 for this butter dish. I do love to collect butter dishes. But I have so many. I was like, can you let go of one of them, Teresa? This is very pretty. It does need to be washed up a little. There's no um, damages other than it's dirty. And that will wash off. Five dollars on the butter dish. <clears throat> Dolores, let me know if you need to see that a little closer or anything. Just let me know. Next, I have the the blooming onion. <laughs> That's what I call it. I know it's the onion powder pattern. I'm telling you what's the truth. I can't talk. But it is vintage. Now it does have a lot of crazen in the middle, and maybe you might want to put a plant or something on it. But I'll, I've got it up for only $2. This pattern is a very sought-after pattern, the onion pa pattern. And I know blue and white is very popular right now.
The name on here is, let me see, M E I S S E N, Mishin. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. The $2 on the blue and white onion pattern. And if nobody gets it, I might put it under a plant myself. <laughs> it's pretty. I love that. I love blue and white anyway. Okay. Next, I have some pasta bowls. You collected it back in the day? Oh, that's beautiful. I love blue and white. I have the uh, blue willow in the blue, although I do have some of the red, and I like the red. I really love the blue. I have these pasta bowls. They are brand new. They are um, they have the made in Italy. Little tag still on them. It says on the back, the made in Italy. This one is the Linguini, I guess, the pasta, the bigger. And this one is the Panay. And they are still both brand new with tags on them. I'm going to sell them for $5 each. You want just one. I tell you what, if you want just one, it's five. If you want both of them, I'll do them for eight. Because they are brand new. And they do still have all the little stickers and all on them. They are very pretty pasta bowls. And they're, you know, they're large pasta bowls. Not the largest, but they're pretty good size. Let's see. It's, all, it's up eight and a half inches across. So like a dinner plate almost. Okay. And next I have this gorgeous tray. I, when I undone it, I, I was like, oh, I want to keep it, but I don't need it. It has silver decor on it. It is from Pier 1. I do understand they're no longer in business. It's large, too. I want to say I measured it, but it's right at 14 inches. Um, I have $10 on it. It says it was from Portugal. It's very pretty. If it had been a little bit whiter than being this beige color, it wouldn't have went nowhere. Although I do like the beige. I, I prefer the whiter. Very, very pretty decor. Pier 1. Let's see if you can see. $10. You want, you want the tray, Amanda? Okay. It's yours if nobody else comes in. Got it. Let me write it down because you know mama don't remember nothing after three seconds. <laughs> that might be pushing it too. Might be shorter than that. Okay, got you for the tray. Let me set it down over here so I don't try to resell it. And we may have had some people come in since I've shown the hangers. This We're doing this for a fundraiser for Hannah. Heather and Hannah are making them and we're and for a fundraiser. This particular one is... $15. She wouldn't put any, you know, decor that she possibly can if it's not too much out of her range. Her, uh, Hannah's pretty much an artist, so I think they could pretty much do anything. But we have, and then I have one just larger. Well, it's a pretty good bit larger for 20 And you get two signs. You get the front and back de decorated for the price. And I'm just bringing it back up in case somebody wasn't here earlier. And then we have one, the one with the uh, the netting. And again, any theme, Halloween. A lot of people yesterday was like, Halloween, Halloween. So I guess maybe that's the big next big thing coming up. You know, you could do one for that. You could do Christmas, Easter, spring, summer, fall. A fall one would be gorgeous. $30 on the big one. And it is a very large size. And like I said, she uses six rolls of ribbon instead of two. That's a normal. And then this one with the sunflower and the chevrons. And this is a plastic. The rest of the stuff is wood, except, you know, and then wire. This one is a plastic. So it's $10. And that's just a recap on those days, on the reefs. Okay, let me move this too since it's old. Okay. What have I not shown today? I have the little first communion bracelet. 
for $3. This is first meeting on this side. It regularly sells for $14 in the store. Okay. I have a lot more respect for the women that do this by their self. I usually have a minute in between with Lucy to grab stuff, reach and grab. But anyway, if y'all need me to slow down a minute, just tell me. Next, I have this Candace pattern, fine china. I have the creamer, which is beautiful. It still has all the silver decor. I love creamers. And sugar sets. If I had all the room in the world, I'd just collect them all, I think. Okay, and I have the three little berry bowls. Still the same uh same pattern, the Candace with the little kind of daisy pattern, I guess, on here. And I will sell the three bowls and the sugar. I mean the creamer. I wish I had the sugar. I will sell all three of those and this, this for $12. And if you just want one or the other, you let me know and we'll, we'll work something out. It's very, I mean, they are in such good shape for the age. I mean, I'm just surprised all this, the, the rimming and all is still on them because that's one of the first things to go with use, you know. And next, I have this Cayman Island mug, $2. It has a turtle. I like the turtle. And the fish. And speaking of that, somebody was asking me for a fish bowl, and I did find two yesterday, but they are dirty. I got to clean them up. I think it may have been Dean, actually. And if he pops in, I'll tell him that they'll. I'll probably have them on tomorrow. I did a huge cleanup. I, meaning my dad and my son-in-law, done a huge cleanup for me yesterday and got a lot of things done that I needed doing. And it was so hot. I felt so sorry for him. But I feel a lot better now that it's cleaned up. Okay. Now, I just said we're having a 60th. And we've already had the 50th anniversary. But if someone you know is having the 50th, these kind of things can be very pricey out there if you're going to buy it new. I have this uh, little vase, 50th anniversary vase for $5. If you have a friend or family that's doing 50th, that's a blessing also. $5 on that one. And I have five on the cup and saucer. But I, if you want both of these, I'll do them for $8. If you just want one particular one, I'll do it for 5 so pretty. Okay, that's the 50th things I have. Then I had this little ceramic made in the USA, this little trinket. I imagine that in the 70s it was used for incense. And I know if you are not from that era, you may not understand, but we had those long sticks. And we, I don't know, this probably wasn't very safe, but we would just put them in something like this and light them and let them go. Maybe dump the ashes in here at the end. I don't know. But you could, I don't know that that's what it's for, but it may have been. I have $2 on it. You could use it for coins or stones or, you know, bath salts or whatever you wanted to now. And other than needing a little cleaning up, it's in perfect condition. I don't believe it has no chips or cracks. Or, it does have a little rough area right here. A little, that's probably why I put $2 on it. It's a little rough area, but it's not sharp like to cut you or anything. But you wouldn't want to put food in it. You would put like bath salts or something in it with that little rough area. And then your bath salts would stay dry because it has a little air hole. But hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right. Let's read this one else. Oh, let me let me stand up and reach. 
I have redware and I have a teapot. Let me move some stuff back. I'm getting kind of crowded. Okay. I have a little teapot in the redware. I actually have a whole collection of my grandmother's on my um, shelves up there. I've added to it a little bit, but a lot of it was my grandmother's. This is made in Japan. And I have two little mugs that didn't come with it, but would match. I believe you can match like a whole set. And I'll do teapot and mugs for $8 today. Let me show you the little mugs. They have some like Asian writing on the bottom of them. And they had that little D handle, the invented. Here's your little teapot. And you could use this or you could use it for decor. And I don't see why those wouldn't match because that has a lot of light drip color in it. If you're interested in that for eight? Let me know. I have this little crystal trinket bowl. It has gold on it, but it, it is from the 70s and or later, earlier, however you say that. It So it's got some wear to it. I don't know who this is calling, but that's okay. I'll call them back. I thought I had my phone off. Sorry, y'all. Little crystal bowl, and I, it, it can go for $3. Yes, she did use it. She did use it. And I do have it. And I'm very, uh, there is a pitcher, like a drinking pitcher up there that I know she used. And then a bowl that was her banana pudding bowl. So yes, ma'am, she used it. Of course, we're talking back in the 60s for sure. Grandma used all that. And yes, I'm old. And speaking of old, I have this bowl that was used a lot in our family. Also, this green. The emerald green and I'll let it go today for five dollars yeah I just have so much I kept the things that I cherish in my heart like the red wear and the red and white glasses and a lot of my mom and my grandma stuff I'm very sentimental but I can only keep so much so I would like it to go to someone else that could love it as much as I do good morning Sarah, good morning, good morning. Anyone else that's coming in, I, don't, I did not mean to miss you, but thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here, putting up with me this morning by myself. I can't believe I've been on here almost an hour rattling. Wow. Lucy would be proud. <laughs> she had a follow-up appointment today. I miss her. Okay. What else did I have? What have I not shown today? Hmm. Sarah, did you see the reefs already from uh, Heather? I've done shut them twice. Maybe you just can go back and look. Everybody's going to get bored of seeing them. Now, this is the little uh, ombre dish, handy dish. It has been more than loved. It has been abused. It's in good shape as far as the glass, not with no chips. It looks like somebody... I don't know. They washed it too much because it's flashed on stuff. I got it for $5. The flashed on stuff cannot be washed. And also, looks like maybe they tried to paint it or something. Like they decided they might try to fix it up and it didn't work too well. But mostly the flash is coming off of it. But you could put fairy lights in it. Let me grab my lights. Oh, I better get them out so they don't fuss at me. <laughs> Sarah gives me these kind of the lights and stuff. I don't know what I'd do without her help. I don't know. This might not be the right color, but you'll understand. You can see it's a very beautiful lit up. For five dollars, you can have you a a, a fairy lamp <laughs> look, or you can have you one of these nineteen seventy, um, the two toned green and blue dishes. Okay. Okay, Sarah. Thank you. So this is $5. 
Oh, Jane, you want this? Okay. Oh, sweet Jane. I know what I'm facing to reshow is some doggies. <laughs> Jane loves her doggies. I found two more and immediately thought about her. She may not want them, and that's fine, but it's still, I thought about her immediately. Let me, let me put ombre dish. So I'll know what I'm talking about when I go back to look. And also, let me set it down. Hey, look at here. I found a big doggy. I have $5 on him. I forgot what kind that Christy said it was. Forget now. It's cute. Let me tell you how long he is. From top to bottom. He's over 10 inches. Five dollars. Sweet thing. And then I have this little one that I found yesterday. And I know you don't you've already gotten several, and that's fine if you don't want them. That's fine. But I did I did want you to know that I immediately thought of you. This one's three dollars. And it has a name and the word California on the bottom. I'm sure that's where the person that made it. I'm sure it was an artisan made item. And it's three. Okay. Oh, Jane, you do. You don't really don't have to buy it. But if you want it, okay, that's who I thought about. I'm going to put big dog. Oh, and you want to hit a one too? I knew that Jane, loved, if y'all were not watching Jane at the Doggone Vintage channel. You are missing out. That is a sweetheart with a with a. The, she's got the stuff in that house. Let me write this down. Hush, talking. Write that down. Okay. I don't know. Fall is probably not as far away as we really think it is, but it's a little ways. It's around the corner at the same time. I think this crackle glass fall candle holder are beads or you could even you know put some of the pretty um but it's not beads like not christmas balls but some of them other kind of little balls that looks like that and you could you know or you could put you one of those little battery candles i have seven dollars on it let me tell you how tall it is here i'm doing this back I'm still suffering with the sinusy eyeballs here. Sorry. Nine inches tall. Does have the gold trim. Top and bottom. It is the crackle glass. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Okay. Hmm. I'm telling you, I've showed a bunch of stuff already. Okay, I showed this apron earlier. Three dollars on the barbecue apron. Eight on the drinking pitcher. Kind of recapping because I was just planning to be on for an hour. Got some more people coming on. I know Maria, um, California. Is California thrifter? I mean, she's going to be doing a two dollar sale tomorrow. Y'all be sure to go and watch her $2 sale. Okay, and I have the little 1975 plastic wall hangers. $8 set or $4 each if you decide you just want one. There's one with onions. There's one with mushrooms. You had red glass earlier. Yes. What did I do? What did I do with the red glass? Oh, no. I don't, did I have red today? I had this one. wasn't red. And this is $4. Let me look around because I've been moving stuff every which way. I don't remember red, Sarah, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh, red wear. The red wear. Red wear. That's what it was. Yeah, I thought about it about that thing. Thank you, Dolores. I thought about it about the same time. That was the teapot in the little mug, Sarah. Redware. And that's the see the, the clay, the redware clay. 
pasted on the bottom, made in Japan. All right, now you know you can come get any of this stuff you want, hon. She's donated most of it. You want to take it back? Come get it. <laughs> Anything else in particular that y'all anybody wants to look at? I'll have the, the earrings for three dollars. These are pierced earrings, three dollars a pair. Okay. Oh, and I had the little um, coin purses for $2. Love these little purses. Choice for $2, some glitter. Glitter coin purses, $2, okay. Oh, and I had the milk glass mug for $3. And yes, it's milk glass, and I'm not keeping it because I got a bunch. <laughs> I love milk glass. But I do have a lot of milk glass for the anniversary party, Amanda. You need to let me know what to get out. You're still listening. When I sold the wallet. I had to mind your own biscuits for $2. I actually believe I've done, uh, other than the reefs, which if you want to go back and watch, I've shown them twice. I don't want to wear you out with looking at them. Um, my allergies are starting to act up. So I guess that, is there any questions or anything in particular you don't want to see again or that you, some things you want me to look for in this? I could uh, steal Nancy's name of her show and put overstuffed house because I definitely got an overstuffed house. I love Nancy. That's another wonderful channel, y'all. You could just spend all day watching YouTube channels. I did while I was sick. I did. I'm, I'm not going to tell no story. I did. I just watched it and watched it. Jane, I love you more. If I would have thought you was able, I would have got you to come on today, but I didn't want to bother you with your fractures. I'll be keep Jane in your prayers now. Oh, thank you, Amanda. I'm back at the end, I guess. Um, That's okay, Christy. I was only going to do an hour, and I, I recapped. I, you okay, Christy? Everything good? Yeah, I've got to start lunch now. It's just yeah. a busy time. Every morning is a busy I time. I know. So I know, darling. I completely understand. Thursday's wonderful, Jane, if you're up to it. Now, don't push yourself, y'all. Jane is the toughest lady I know. If you're up to it, you can come on on Thursday. Absolutely. I love y'all, and I guess I'll say bye at this point if there's nothing else that anybody wants to say. And God bless you, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Love y'all. Thank you, Christy, bye, so everybody. much. You're welcome. Bye, Teresa. Bye, Horn. <laughs>